There is the boxer from Thailand, Nopaket Srisawas, 17 years of age. Just awaiting the arrival of her opponent in the blue corner. And there she is, Nagina Uktamova, Uktamova, also 17 years old from Uzbekistan. Luca Varelonga of Italy is the referee. Theresa was preparing for her third bout of the women's bantamweight tournament. Tamova preparing for bout number two after receiving a bye in the first preliminary round. Effectively, the round of 32. This is the busiest weight category in the women's tournament. 20 boxes comprising the 54 kilogram bantamweight division. Round 12. So we're underway then. Quarterfinal action in the women's 54 kilogram bantamweight division between boxers from Thailand and Uzbekistan. The boxer wearing red is Nopaket Srisawas, 17 years of age been very impressive so far in her two completed bouts to date to book her place here at the quarterfinal stage but the woman who's just scored with a corkscrew left is Nagina Uktamova and Uktamova finding the range immediately she was put onto the end of a left jab there and then using nice footwork to back away from Srisawas as she goes in search of Offense over the front foot. Solid right hand landed by Sarisa Wash. She kind of stepped through with it, so lost her balance a little bit, but make no mistake, it was a scoring shot. And then she's finding the range with her lead left hand as well. Action in the opening round has been pretty busy. But these boxers bidding to make it through to the medal rostrum here at Kyoto 2021. And Sarisa Wash really looking to establish that lead left hand now. Now she switches southpaw, one of the facets she's demonstrated over the course of the preceding days. Catches Uktamavu with the right hand as Uktamavu was trying to, di trying to disengage. Nice left jab to the body from the woman in blue. Solid left jabs exchanged with the two boxers at center ring, and they really are teeing off on one another right now, having success landing, but neither boxer able to avoid the punches of their opponent. And Uktamova getting onto the front foot, backing Srisawas into the ropes. Now the action back at ring center, just beyond the midpoint of the opening round. Srisawas scoring with a left hand and then turned it into a hook. She comes back with a bent arm left jab, and that was countered by a straight left from Uktamova. Uktamova forcing her opponent backwards behind a fusillade of straight shots. Action in the neutral corner on the far side of the ring from our commentary position. Nudging little right hand scored from Sri Suos as she was backing away. Reverse one, two, saw the left hand land for the woman in red. But then look at the response from Tamavra as she comes forward with a two shot combination. Left, right, straight punches and found the range with them. Incredibly competitive opening round this one. Two way action. As Srisawas looking to target the body and head with the right hand. Another swarming attack from Uktamova. Srisawas trying to put some distance between herself and her opponent with that lead left. Solid right hand landed by Uktamova. Acting in a neutral corner just above our commentary position here. So closing seconds of what have been a blistering opening round. My goodness. And an active conclusion to the opening round from Uktamova. Non-stop punching from opening bell to last. And it's the industry of Uktamova that is being rewarded. 10-9 across the board in favor of the woman in blue. But make no mistake, Srisawas in that contest, in that round, for every second of the round. Some of the action from where there were punches being delivered practically non-stop. Plenty of skill and thought behind it as well, though. Wasn't just blind aggression, hoping to land. They were working their way into range. But then look at that give and take throughout the course of the contest. And given how close it was, 
while Srissa Was will still fancy her chances to be able to get back on terms if she can just produce a little bit more in what was a very even opening round, even though all of the scorecards have gone against her. Round two. So into the second round then, Nagina Uptamova comes out with a right cross, which was right on the money, and she's letting her hands go frequently again, driving Srisawas back to the ropes, and Srisawas remaining against the strands, totally square on and takes another left hand, surely not where she wants to be. She gets off the ropes and scores with a jab, but look at the unrelenting aggression and the pressure being applied by Uktamova. Terrific start to the round for her in the opening 30 seconds of the second frame. Left jab once again landed by the boxer in blue. And once more, she appears to be the slightly more compact athlete, but her timing on that lead left hand is impressive. Comes in as the reigning 2020 na national youth champion of the Central Asian nation. There's Uktamova. Approaching a minute gone, solid left hand landed by Srisawas, and Srisawas now trying to get onto the front foot. Corkscrew left lands for Uktamova, and then she's looking for bent arm punches at mid range with the hooks from both flanks. So the referee allowing the two boxers to work away, they do so, sorting things out themselves before getting back beyond punching range. They fall into a tangle on the inside once again. Srisawas trying to will her way forwards. She'll be aware of the context of the contest coming into the second round thanks to Aiba live scoring and really trying to get over the front foot in the second half of this round. Solid left jab landed by Srisawas as Uktama was looking for backhands over the top. Now remember, the left jab has served her terrifically. Thinking boxers up there as Srisawas just threatening to stray low with that right hand. It was right around the belt line. But look at Sri Oktamova again driving the woman in red backwards, simply imposing her will, burrowing away to the body to produce another terrific portion of the round. Effective aggression being produced by Oktamova. Looking for that right cross, she ran into a left jab from Sri Sawas. But Oktamova has really imposed her authority on this contest here in the second round. And Srisawas trying to compete, but invariably she is being consistently backed up and outworked. Big shift has been produced by Oktamova to put her in this advantageous position. At least that's how I see it. There is still 30 seconds for Srisawas to produce some quality or some big punches to get herself back into it. Oh, terrific left hand to the body once again by Oktamova. Srisawas responds with the right hand over the top. But bulldozing her way once forwards once more is Uktamova, and there's a right hand over the top. She really went swung for the fences with the subsequent right hand and couldn't find a range. Brilliant second round of boxing produced by the woman in blue. Industry and imagination combined, and she was threatening to overwhelm Srisawas for large portions of that second round. How will the five judges seated ringside see it? And look at that, 10-8 scores sprinkled in there. And going into the third and final round, Nagina Uktamova in a really commanding position on, on the scoreboard. This was absolutely incessant pressure that was applied as soon as the bell rang to begin round number two. And Srisa was, well, she found herself pinned to the ropes far more often than she would have liked. The Gonzalo, please. Round three. So into the third and final round then. And Nagina Uktamova out onto the top of the logo and scoring with straight punches once again, just as she did in the second round, really looking to impose her authority. In the early stages of this final three-minute frame, Srisawas, the 2019 tight national games champion, has just taken a corkscrew left. She took, scored with a right cross over the top in response. But Oktamova, the 17-year-old who enjoyed a glittering junior career, coming away with Asian continental championship gold and junior domestic gold as well. What a transition she has made to the youth classification. One age group up and surely 
rampaging her way to the final four and medal platform in the bantamweight division here on the global stage of the 2021 Aiba Youth World Championships. Lands with a pot shot right hand once again, steps back into the pocket with the same shot. There is still two minutes, nothing preordained in sports in general, but boxing in particular, because one shot can turn everything that has preceded it on its head. But Tamava is looking irresistible here with a minute gone in this third and final round. In rounds two and three, she's asserting herself in a sense that suggests she, she simply will not be denied in her pursuit of a place on the medal rostrum. It has been really impressive to behold. So much thought behind her work as she takes a stiff left jab from Srisawas. And Srisawas, who needs an enormous final round, simply doesn't appear to have the energy to launch the, the aggressive burst that she needs. It's going to be very difficult to win the cap contest in this posture, on the back foot and looking to pot shot her way. If that's the approach she's choosing to adopt, well, then you're looking for a perfect punch to wipe out your opponent with one blow or a combination. But at this type of tempo, Uktamova, as she lands with a left jab, which threatened to score with the, or land with a heel of the hand, pot shotting her way to more points on the scorecard now. Terrific punch picking from the woman in blue. And she has demonstrated so much variety in her work. On the front foot, getting inside, scoring at mid range and short range with shots to the body. And then a left jab has been the foundation upon which her success has been built. She neglected it momentarily in the second round, but then there it is in evidence, right on cue, left jab setting up a looping right over the top, then a corkscrew left hand lending inside. And this is absolutely sensational stuff being produced by Nagina Uktamova of Uzbekistan. Left, right once again, and Srisawas, well, that 10-second clapper coming at an opportune time for her because she's in danger of being punched to a standstill. It's been an absolutely sensational display from the woman in blue, and surely, surely, it will be Nagina Uktamova who goes storming into the semi-finals of the women's 54-kilogram bantamweight tournament. A terrific display of effective aggression, of intelligent boxing, taking charge of the contest, and simply producing an unrelenting display of non-stop educated pressure that was too much for Nopaket Sirawas to handle. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout by unanimous decision is the boxer from the blue corner, Nikina Uktamova, Uzbekistan. Well, what a sensational performance. There is confirmation of a unanimous points decision victory for Nagina Uktamova of Uzbekistan. And she goes into the semi-final stage and a guaranteed place on the medal podium. Srisawas eliminated at the quarterfinals. Did well in her preceding two contests, but at the quarterfinal stage, Uktamova leaving no doubt that she was the better boxer. 